the Yale Centre of British Art holds the greatest collection of British art outside the United Kingdom. The gift of Paul Mellon, who felt very strongly it should come to Yale University. His heart as a collector lay in his British collections and he wanted it to come to a great university like Yale, his alma mater. The most rewarding aspect of a reinstallation is when it's done and the doors open and you see our visitors come in for the first time and actually get to see the art again after 18 months of being closed and enjoy the end product of your work. At the hardest challenge whenever you're doing a reinstallation is making the tough decisions about which objects get on the wall and which don't. And we only have space for about a third of the collection and so making that tough decision between what gets on the wall and what remains in storage is always the hardest thing. I think it's one of the great joys of being a curator to arrange spaces and to arrange works of art within spaces so that the works of art are seen to best advantage and to tell a story with that arrangement, to tell it clearly, hopefully, to be able to suggest connections and associations between works of art but at the same time allowing gallery goers the freedom to make their own connections. I think there have long been attempts to try and identify something distinctive or unique about British art or some aspect of it that makes it British, quintessentially so. And it's not that that's misguided, but I think actually what this installation tries to show is just how diverse British art really is and how open British art has been to influences from all over the world, to artists coming to Britain from across Europe or across the world and having a huge impact on the story of British art. So we really want to tell that story about Britain and its relationship to the world. Of course, what we hope that visitors will notice first is that we have not stripped out this great con building to produce a work by another architect. This really was a loving conservation project. And as far as the building is concerned, we hope that its original gorgeous glow is what people will feel when they enter the building and begin to walk through its beautiful spaces. Those of us involved in the project hope very much that the building will have a very familiar feel, just a fresher feel, that the finishes, the carpet, the linen, the white oak, um, will just look renewed, but the spaces themselves are really very much the same as they were. I hope above all that people might go away surprised, excited, that they would come here perhaps with certain expectations of what British art is and they might leave with a whole different vision, a sense that British art is much more diverse and varied than they might have expected and hopefully that they'll be so excited by that that they'll want to come back and learn more. <laughs>